Hey guys, welcome to Sky Chats. I'm Sky, and today, you know, today I'm at this kind of intimate angle because I don't know if that's the right descriptive word for this angle. Yeah, I don't know. I just had some things that I wanted to talk about for no particular reason, really, other than that's a cat. That is a cat. My thoughts aren't going to be like linear, and that's fine. Just come on this like they might be circular. I don't know. Just come on this journey with me. I guess since I've started making videos, really, back in. I don't know, was it 2010? You tell me. I don't know. It's just, it was 2010, September 2010. You know, I've been through a lot of dark times since then. You know, and I get I get a lot of messages um, on Tumblr, you know, from other people my age and younger and older people of all ages. Um, you know, and they're, they're really struggling with just day-to-day -day life. I don't know, I just kind of want to talk to the people that that are fighting those invisible battles. And they are oftentimes very invisible. And people are very good at hiding them and covering them up. Maybe the fact that I am still, you know, struggling a bit with these, with my own invisible battles, maybe that makes it more meaningful when I say that it's still, like, hella worth it. Things do still get crazy dark sometimes, and it gets crazy hard, but I can still say, I can still say it's worth it. It's worth it to hang on in there, and I can still say that there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's such a cliche. But, you know, I, ch I am of the belief that you are, you are all warriors. You're flippin' warriors. If you're here, if you're watching this, if you're breathing, you're doing just such an amazing job. And you're, you're winning, you know? I know it might not feel like that right now. I know you don't get any medals or anything for, um, for opening the curtains when all you want to do is just stay in the dark. You don't get any, you know, trophies for uh, eating three meals a day when every fiber of your being is telling you to starve yourself. So maybe I'm the first person to say this to you today, or this week, or maybe ever, hopefully not ever, but you're doing a really awesome job. You're doing amazingly, you know, and you should be proud of yourself. You really, really should. So my mom's watering the plants while I'm having a serious DMC with you. Keep going. That's all you need to do, you know? And don't look at any, don't look at what everyone else is doing. Don't look at them. You know, don't compare yourself to other people. That is, it's poison. That is one way to destroy your recovery, is to compare yourself to others. To compare your road to other people's roads. It, you're on your road. You know, and that, who says that saying? I don't know who says it, you can tell me in the comments, but you know, if you're going through hell, keep going. And it's, it's, it is the best advice sometimes for, for anyone struggling with, with mental illness. Because you just, you have to just keep going. That's the only way you're going to get out through the other end, and it will all be worth it. I'm still struggling and I can still say it's 100% worth it. Like there's experiences that, that you're meant to experience and there's people you're supposed to meet that are gonna change your life and you're gonna change theirs. There's just so many good times waiting for you. There, if someone had said that to me back when I was in my darkest place, I wouldn't have believed them. You know, I would have wanted to believe them but it would have hurt too much to believe them. But I really can vouch for it. It's true. There are good times waiting for you and you just have to keep going and you have to, you have to be alive. To, to experience them. There's, there is, there's dogs that you're meant to pet. They're waiting for you, you know? Maybe even a squirrel. That's it. Yeah, let's do this again sometime, yeah?